Alright, here's a glaze that I'm about to make. It's a, a raku glaze. And when you see it, they give you uh, the numbers. Like they tell you ferro frit at 31, 10, 70. Uh, this is actually Gersley borate, 5. Silica, 12. Soda ash, 5. EPK, 5. Uh, these are all percentages. Uh, the main one generally equals uh, pretty close to 100%. What they're doing is making it so that you can do, like, if you wanted, you could make this 70 grams, or you could make it 70 ounces, depending upon how much you want to make. I'm figuring I want to make about a gallon, so I'm going to, I want it to be about 2,000 grams when it's done. So I multiplied all these numbers by 20 to get uh, to get the, the number of grams. I'm going to do it in grams. So for for 70, I multiplied it by 20, got 1,400 grams. For Gersley borate, it was 5 times 20. I got 100 grams. Silica, 12 times 20, 240 grams, and and so on. Copper carbonate, 8. So I got 160. Red iron oxide was just one, so times 20 is 20 grams. So now I'm going to add all these components up together. I'm going to weigh them out individually and mix them together, and I'll start doing that right now. Oh, and also it's important, uh, when you put something in, I'm going to put it in that big silver container there. After I put it in there, I'm going to put a check mark here so because it's easy to lose track. Like if the phone rings or someone comes to talk to you and you forget where you are and you look back and you go, oh no, I don't know what I've done. So you got to make sure that you keep really good track of what you've actually put into the big container.
Now I'm going to do, I just did ferro frit. I did 1,000 grams in 400. I haven't ticked this one off yet. So now I'm going to do the 100 grams of the Gersley Borate.
now I need to dry mix all the ingredients that I put into the uh, the big metal container. I, from uh, the Mastering Cone 6 Glazes book, they say for about every 100 grams of dry mix, you need about 90 milliliters of, uh, of water. So I have 2,000, so 90 times uh, 20 is uh, 1,800 milliliters. So I'm going to go get that right now. Now I will slowly add the dry ingredients to the water. And you pour it in slow and watch as it sinks below the surface and then add more. All right, the uh, camera seems to have shut off on me, but I just poured all the powder into the water and I had uh, for 2,000 grams of glaze material, I had 1,800 milliliters of water. And I slowly poured all the, uh, the glaze powder into here in the water. And it seems to be a pretty good consistency, I guess. It still has, I still have to sieve it through uh, an 80 mesh sieve, and then it'll be uh, good to go. I'll probably sieve it tomorrow, let it all soak up today, and then uh, sieve it tomorrow, and then it'll be good to go. Alright, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.